I'm going to share with you three improvements I'd like to see in the Uber app and three improvements I'd like to see in the Lyft app. And stick around at the end of the video, I'll show with you what I think is the number one improvement I'd like to see in each of the, of the two apps. So everybody, this is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. And today we're going to be talking about apps. Now, if you're like me, you're a full-time driver. I spend 50 hours a week uh, driving around using the Uber and Lyft app, so I've got a pretty intimate relationship uh, with them. There aren't many things in my life that I spend 50 hours a week uh, using and dealing with. So let's jump right in and uh, let's look at some improvements. So let's start with Lyft. Since this year I've been driving mostly for Lyft and I'm very familiar <laughs> with <laughs> specific things that kind of irritate me that I would like to see improved. Let's start with number one. Number one is show me the prime time levels all the time. So when you're driving around and you get a ping, it'll show you what the prime time is. It'll be like 100%. That means you're gonna get twice as, paid twice as much on that particular ride. But once you hit accept, that's it. You don't see it again. There's no place to go and check and, and, and make sure you, you, you remembered it, right? And, and even more frustrating when it's busy and you get a queued ride, right? So you're driving around, you got someone in your car and it says, uh, a new passenger has been added to your queue. You have no idea, you're flying blind. Drives me crazy. I want to know if I'm gonna take a long ride, am I getting a 25%, 50%, 100%, 200% or nothing? So that's for sure my number one request is just what's the big deal? <laughs> show us, show us what the prime time uh, level is. It's really simple. Number two is show us the full address in the ride overview mode. So I'm going to show you here some examples of what I see. And as you can see, uh, you know, trauma center. Well, that doesn't give me an address. And it would be really great if you could just show us the address on all of the passengers for both the destination and the pickup because it's it's difficult because then we've got to like zoom into the map and kind of see what area we're going into or exit out and then and then look at it, it why? why why do some have addresses and some don't just show us the addresses that's number two come on lift you can do that for us okay so number three is Show us how many destination filters we have left, right? So with Lyft, we're given six. Very generous amount to have six compared to Uber, which only has two. We'll talk about that later. But it's hard to keep count of how many have I used. And there have been a few times where I was just finishing my day and I needed that one more destination filter to get home and I used them all up. So why not give us a count so we can see where we go from six to five to four to three to two to one so we can again manage our day. All three of my Lyft improvements have to do with giving the drivers a little bit more information to make our days more profitable, more successful, um, and we'll be happier and we'll be better with the customers, with the passengers. It's a win-win, Lyft. So those are the three for Lyft. If you have any other ideas, throw them in the comments. Now let's go over to Uber. Now, my app improvements for Uber are really important and they're part of the reason I prefer driving for Lyft. So let's start with number one. Number one is show us where we're going. Now with Lyft, when I'm close like a block away, I can hit that I've arrived. That shows me exactly the point that I need to drive to and I can also see the destination and cancel if I, if I don't want it. Uber does not give us that option. Uber says we've got to go there see the passenger, then start the ride. Only till we start the ride do we see where we're going. So that's, that's a huge drawback for me because I like to manage my day because I don't want to take rides that aren't profitable. Now, to Uber's benefit, their new Uber Pro program uh, is now going to provide time and distance for, uh, for drivers that reach the uh, platinum and the diamond level. So that's going to be great when that comes and, is, and when that's opened up to the whole country. Right now it's just in eight test markets. So Uber will solve that problem uh, if you're a platinum or diamond uh, classified as an Uber or 
as a uber platinum or diamond driver. But for the rest of us who aren't in the test markets, who aren't at that level, uh, this is a huge drawback. And number two is give us more destination filters. So I use the destination filters a lot, right? I use it to control my day so that uh, let's say it's Saturday morning and I want to go all the way down to San Jose and I want to get long rides going down, I'll set the destination filter to San Jose. Then when I'm in San Jose, I'll set it back to San Francisco. With Uber, I only got two, two shots, two shots. So if I just did what I said with Uber, that's it. I don't have a destination filter to get me home. And the third improvement I would like to see is I would like for Uber to give us the little yellow dude, right? So I'm going to show you here the little yellow dude so that we can see where the passenger is. Because a lot of times where the passenger is and where we're supposed to pick them up aren't the same. And when I see the little yellow dude is someplace else, I immediately call the passenger with Lyft and find out where they are. Or sometimes there is no little yellow dude. And that tells you that um, somebody else booked the ride for the pickup. So you get a lot of valuable information with that little yellow dude. So it'd be great, Uber, if you did something like that as well. So I promised you I'd tell you which ones I thought were the most important. Let's get into that right now. So the most important for me for Lyft is show me the prime time values. Um, I, I like to know what I've got so when I'm driving, I can be excited if I have prime time or not. And when those passengers start to queue up, I have no idea what, what, the, what the status is. And for Uber, of course, it is give me the destination. Show me where we're going so I can manage my day so that I can have a more profitable day and be a happier driver. So those are my suggested improvements. Uh, if you guys have any other ideas of things you'd like to, to see Uber or Lyft do, please put them down below. Uh, I'd love to see what you think. I will say an honorable mention for Lyft was that I would like them to give us the opportunity to text passengers. Um, that was a number four. That was, that was an honorable mention for Lyft. So that's it, everybody. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet to this uh, YouTube channel, by all means, please do. Um, it's got a lot of great information. You're going to learn a lot about rideshare driving. Every week, there's like two or three new videos that come out, and it's top-notch stuff. Thanks for watching. This is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. Y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.